It's been a minute. I actually have good excuses this time, okay? I have been sick for like a week and a half. I'm just one of those people who doesn't handle being sick well. I'm sure most people don't, but like I really don't. I saw a TikTok the other day saying how like, oh, those people who say that they can't afford to be sick are so annoying. I'm those people, like I literally can't afford to be sick. I'm like still recovering. If I sound different, it's because I have like a little bit of a scratchy throat, like a little bit of a cough. So that's why I sound different during this video. But I'm back, I'm finally here. Um, I've come back to 12K. Which I'm super thankful for. Thank you guys so much for subscribing, for liking my videos, and for all your very sweet comments. I love you guys, but I don't have any giveaways or anything for you. I'm sorry. That's okay, because you don't subscribe to me because I give you things, right? You subscribe to me because you like me as is. Let's get to the point of today's video. Since I'm back from a long break, I decided that I would do a tutorial. Um, I also have nails, so if I don't know how to act during this video, that's why. Today I'm gonna be showing you how I do my basic transition edits and make them look spot on. Um, I get a lot of compliments whenever I do this style basic transitions um, and I think that's because the way that I do them is very aesthetically pleasing. They're very clearly basic transitions but it's still very enjoyable to watch and I think it's pretty smooth. I've gotten requests on how to do zoom in and zoom out before. I I've been told that mine look very smooth. I don't know how true that is. So that's today's tutorial. I think if you're someone who wants to explore transitions right now, but you're not sure like what type of style you want to go for, you don't want to do 3D, you don't want to do glitch, you don't want to do jug, you don't want to do soft style, you want to do something simple but effective, I think that this basic transition tutorial video is for you. I love you. Guys, I feel so pretty. Why does my nose look like a filter? anyways and then even some cool effects that i tried to incorporate with these a lot, <coughs> a lot of so yeah we're gonna go ahead to the tutorial but first before i let you go um i have to have you watch the beloved commercial you haven't seen it in so long so you should be ecstatic to watch it okay love you bye oh not yet so you're just gonna watch the I, whatever okay i haven't done it in so long Hello there, like most editors, I have a pay hip. Now, granted, most of the things on my pay hip I already have tutorials on my YouTube channel for. However, if you're lazy or just wanna support me, I have a numerous amount of resources and presets on my pay hip. That includes my popular glitch style pack, my shake pack, and even colorings, plus more. If the prices are too much for you, you are not obligated to buy it, but if you do, thank you so much and enjoy. Hello, welcome to the tutorial part of this video. First thing I want to say before we get into all the fun things we're gonna learn today. Um, I want to say that I can argue that scene choice and music choice is one of the most important things for this style. If you're going to use a very, if you're gonna use a fast song with a lot of beats, I argue that the clips you should use should be more of the character doing facial expressions, not a lot of movement. However, if you're gonna use a song that's more slow and less beats, I argue that you should use clips where the character or characters are moving a bit more like walking away or doing something just because I think it flows better. So that is just what I advise. Do whatever you want, of course, but that's what I advise. Let's get into what we're actually going to be learning today. I'm going to be teaching you the style, pretty much everything that helps me and what I use. This is a very basic tutorial because this is a very basic style. So if it's just not meant for you, then you can, of course, turn the tutorial off at any time or watch for funsies. I don't know. So the first thing I want to help you guys understand is the base. Um, the base of the clips I think are one of the most important besides everything I just said and what helps it make a bit more smooth. So that's what I'm going to teach you first. Um, I have two clips here of Alison Hightower as our mannequin because she's gorgeous and if you're curious as to what the composition settings are it's 30 fps and the width and the height is 1080 by 1080. if i'm doing these type of transition edits i'm always using 30 fps um especially for live action shows and for games if i'm editing like ellie williams with transitions i'll do 23.976 fps if you're curious and for tiktok it's always going to be 60 fps first we're going to do the base of my edit no transitions no nothing yet going on just the base first thing i add of course is brightness and contrast 
test so sometimes people use exposure but for I'm gonna show you the difference actually so you can make a bit more sense of it but with the brightness I usually do between 80 and 100 I like the brightness and contrast better than the exposure because uh, I think that it gives a little bit of a angelic dreamy look versus I'll show you with the exposure really quick I'll turn this off um, the exposure at two you know it's just a bit different than the brightness and contrast I don't know if you can tell so pick which one you want to use but I'm gonna use brightness and contrast BCC lens blur OBS you have to be very careful when you use this because it can look blurry and the clips cannot look <laughs> viewable so you have to be careful when you use lens blur now you may be wondering this is not a tiktok edit why are you using this once again it just seems extra smooth to me and i personally like it so i usually do the iris scale between 13 and 20 but for my last edit i did 13 and i liked how that looked i used the gamma as 100 and i don't mess with this you can change the fast to sharper but i usually leave it at fast because i don't really know the difference um and then your first keyframe is going to be 13 and then you go to the end and i make it zero then i'm going to keyframe it you want the keyframe to be very sharp because once again we want to be able to see the clip so i'm going to do the first i call them sticks um about there and the second stick about here and so sometimes it'll do it'll be too fast for me so i'll make it go out a little bit and that's that's what we've got next is gonna be to push t on my keyboard and i'm gonna do the opacity i'm gonna make the first key from 100 and then the next one zero this is just simple stuff you already know but once again this is my base and I like to do this stick, it's going to go a bit out and down. And then the second stick is going to go up and a bit under the first one that we did. Um, I copy and paste all that. And once again, this is my base, so it's going to go on all of my clips. So this is going to be the base for all of our clips. and i think it looks pretty nice and then everybody's going to show you how i would do the transitions so um i like for them to be flowy so i have the same clip here twice i'm going to show you what we're going to do with that but first things first what we're going to do is work with the first so i use blur mo curves one thing that i learned is that you can change the shutter duration to one 0.2 between 1.5 i don't really know what i like i don't sometimes i just keep it at one it just depends on the type of day but for the z disc because we're new zoom out it's going to be 0 0.500 and then that's the first keyframe and at the end we're gonna put it back to one and then we're gonna highlight in easy ease and then go to the graph then we're gonna make our graph and it's just a zoom out so we're gonna make it like that um sometimes it can be too not deep enough for me it just kind of comes out at her face so if that happens you can zoom it in a bit more so the for here what i do is a slide shift x keep it at zero and then go to the end and i'll usually make it negative 1080 make sure you turn the warp x and the warp y to reflect or tile whatever works for you so if you're gonna do reflect it'll look like that but if you want to do tile it'll look like this i actually made you tile today same thing except we're going to go the opposite way of course if you're not new to transitions then you kind of get the whole thing and sometimes what i like to do is make the top yellow stick go above the second one and i like to make it go up a little bit so that it kind of does that but it looks really ugly here so i'm just going to keep it <laughs> to there shift x and we're going to do it at 1080 because it just came from the opposite way and then go to the end and make it one and then we're gonna easy ease and do it this way oh i forgot that we put it on tile and so it's a bit slow for me if you had a faster audio this should definitely be faster by the way okay so now i'm gonna make it zoom in I'm gonna put it there i light an easy ease and then we will do the graph again same thing actually i'm gonna cut this clip in half because it's so slow okay so so far we have this and now it's zooming in so blur mo curves again and then it's gonna come out we wanted to do kind of like that 
and then put it at one again. Basic transitions, you guys know this. I'm gonna do the graph. Now I'm very bad at doing um, in zooms because I hate that you could see the tile. If anybody has any tips on that, we can help each other out. Like I know I'm supposed to be doing this tutorial, but you can help. I'm guessing it just has something to do with my graph, of course. This is great. It's super simple, but it could be better. So now we're gonna move on to effects. First effect I would use is camera lens blur. When you have a double clip like this, meaning like the same clip, the same scene, but two different clips, you want to make it stand out more. So with this one, I'm gonna blur the first one and you could see her a bit better. Next way that I kind of try to do is I'll keep the blur but make it lower and I like to do a black and white now you could just look up black and white of course um but I just don't like it so I make my own black and white I taught this on my channel many times but I'm gonna do it once more just so you guys can get the full thing so we're in magic bullet looks it's a plugin that you will need unfortunately sorry but you do need it we're gonna look for diffusion and add that and basically you don't need to mess with any of this just make the glow 60 between 60 and 70 and then we're going to get exposure and you just turn it up to about 70 okay and then next you're gonna want to get film print it's gonna be kodak 2383 or you can do 2395 whatever you want and you make the saturation all the way to zero and then i usually like to add a bit of grain there's film grain which i can't find for some reason but you can also use renoiser you can just keep it as that or turn it down whatever you want it'll look better on certain clips but yeah this clip is very dark so what you want to do is I would get exposure, put it on here, and turn it up a little bit. But for reference, this is how it would look on a normal clip that has decent lighting. <laughs> um, next thing you could do to this is you could also get Signal. It's a plugin. Um, I just add Signal on here and go to Luma Modulation and turn this off. That's another effect that you can try. This is what it looks like on full, by the way, in case you're curious. And then also another effect that I do is freeze frame and I put the freeze frames to three and that's a nice effect that you can do. And this may look better. You may be thinking about like, oh, what about shakes? But if I'm going to do a shake, I use my films by Tati Twitch Shake, which is in my shake pack on my pay hip. And I just make the keyframes closer together. I'm going to take the freeze frame off because it looks bad. Lastly, I want to talk about smoothness. So one of the ways that you can get your clip to be smooth, of course, is RSMB, which is a plugin that helps edits be more smooth, basically. Um, I stopped using RSMB specifically for these edits because when you're doing BCC lens blur and RSMB and you have effects like camera lens blur, it can be tricky and you don't want to you just you don't want to have an edit that people cannot see rarely add rsmb but if i were to do so blur amount as one and the motion sensitivity as 80 um you can obviously lower it so that it is more you know seeable but that is just completely up to you um another effect that you can use is cc wide time um and you can leave it exactly like this this gives it a more dreamy look and i find that it doesn't look well when i put my it just crashed <laughs> So my After Effects just crashed when I demonstrated that. CC wide time, depending on the PC or laptop you have, it can be a lot on After Effects. So just make note of that. But CC wide time, this is what it looks like with an edit. I'm just not, I like it, but I just, it doesn't work well. I never end up liking it. I always end up regretting it. So yeah. Another way you can make it smooth is when you render the edit and you're done with it, open up a fresh composition, import your edit into here, and what i do is i turn on this effect right here double click it so that it has this arrow and then the motion blur and it does help um believe it or not so the colorings are very minimal as well um they never have much on them 
Now, one thing I'm gonna teach you is the text that I typically do. So you're gonna go to new text, and I usually use Times New Roman. I'm gonna just put Allison High Tower and make it white, and then I shrink it, and usually it's gonna go, I like for it to be not like the star of the show, depending on the clip. So it's just gonna go in the corner somewhere. I'm gonna use fade up words, and then I'm gonna make it kind of zoom in. So I'm gonna scale it back to 30, and then we're gonna scale it to 40, and then easy ease. So the graph is dependent on what you wanna do. This is what my graph looks like for the text. Um, honestly, at that point, you can do no graph. And then I'm going to make it fade out. Okay, and so then what I also do is obviously add drop shadow and I'm gonna put camera lens blur on it and basically we're gonna keep it at five and just it's gonna go down and you get little text like that. And it's very smooth in my opinion and it looks nice. All right, we're done here. You can go back to face Tati and not Mike Tati. <laughs> Bye. Hi guys, so I'm editing this video right now and I forgot to mention one of the effects that I always use for these edits. I don't know how I forgot. S underscore dissolve Luma, or you can use Luma key if you don't have the Sapphire plugin. Amazing effect, absolutely glamorous. It's awesome and you should use it. Um, it's really not a complex effect. You just change from zero to 100 or 100 to zero and that's literally how it works and you graph it. You can do whatever graph you want. If you're like, oh my God, I'm not sure and I cannot think for myself, that's okay. Cause I'm like that too when it comes to graphs. You can just look back at one of the graphs that I did here because I probably did one of those graphs. I mess with the graph for Luma Dissolve key or Luma key, whatever, every single time, like every single time. So I can't even show you a graph I usually do. But I want to mention that because that's very important to the style. And I forgot. So anyways, okay, bye. Hello. How was the tutorial? Mm, okay, that's nice, to, that's nice to hear. Okay, so sorry. I was just thinking about how bad my account is flopping right now. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that tutorial. I think it will help a couple people. Once again, a very basic style, nothing too fancy today or ever really. I never really post anything crazy on this account, but but if it helped you, it helped you and I'm glad. That's, that's my only service typically. And that's all for today's tutorial. Thank you so much for 12K once again. I hope this helped you and I will see you guys in the next video. Okay, love you, bye.